In this video, we're going to talk about a typical lens practical that you can have in the lab. As you can see from the diagram, you have a lamp on the left hand side, usually comes in the form of torch light, then followed by an illuminated cross wire, then followed by a lens, and then a screen on the right hand side for the real image to be formed. So we can see here, these are the typical operators that you have in the lab. And be mindful that the zero marking of the ruler is aligned to the illuminated cross wire in this case. So as mentioned, the lamp usually comes in the form of torch light. And then for this experiment, the cross wire is on the cardboard. And you can see that there are two physical wires at 90 degrees to each other. Some cross wire can be on the torch light itself then followed by the lens and then followed by the screen and in this experiment you are told that the independent variable the screen is 90 degree from the cross wire so you set that and then after which you are told to move the lens slowly away from the cross wire and then you until you get the sharp image formed on the screen this is another view so you move the lens slowly away from the cross wire and at all time look at the screen if everything is aligned properly you will be able to see a sharp image of the cross wire on the screen okay that's the case but take note there's a technique in in identifying the sharpest image so as you move the lens forward until you kind of see the sharp image form but don't stop there continue to move the lens forward until it's blur again then you slowly adjust back move it back until to your best judgment that is the sharpest image so as you know that the distance ua and ub is measured from the center of the lens so once you identify the sharpest image you're supposed to read the black marking here and in this case 22.0 cm following the precision of the ruler so this is ua and you record that down in theory that will be where the object is placed between f and 2f you get a real inverted magnified image next the instruction tells you to move the lens away from the screen this time round, and you will form a different kind of image it's still real it's still inverted but it's diminished smaller so I, I reduce the exposure you, you can see that there's a cross wire that's a sharpest image okay so that will be your UB and from theory you know that this is the case where the object the cross wire is more than 2F from the lens and that's why you get a real inverted diminished image so once you get the first set of reading you can proceed to get other set of readings depending on the independent variables